Building time. So before this video starts, I'm just gonna point out that this is not the massive project I'm working on. This is just an old thing I've built. Enough talk, let's just move on to the build here. So this is a working dropper. If you press this button here, a little item comes out. Now, the only downside with this machine is that it's only compatible with one by one round tiles and nothing else. I'll show you guys why in a second. So let's take this off here. This is like the face of the entire thing. And you can see this massive back here. This is the mechanism. So you can see this is the thing that shoots the items. It's that peace shooter from that Lego City firefighter set. That's where I got mine from. But yeah, if you don't have this piece, you cannot make this dropper. So a quick warning before you start building. So here's a clear view of the mechanism. If you push this button here, you'll see that there's this little beam that when it gets pushed, it pushes to the other side. And when it does that, it pushes this Technic rod here that pushes out the round top. Another thing to point out is that every time the dropper shoots a tile, you're gonna have to reload it every time. So just to demonstrate here, So here's a better look at the stud shooter. So you see there's two little printed one by one round tiles. Well, these are used as filler just to push out the main round tile that's supposed to come out. So let's start building now. Now, this is pretty easy to make. It's just the base here. I'll be showing every inch of it so you guys don't miss a thing and don't butcher your build. So now you're going to want to add one of those 2x2 two two round flat tiles, Technic tiles, whatever they're called, any color. And you're going to have to build this thing. It's uh, this piece, this 2x2 two two tile with a Technic piece sticking out. I got mine from the Blaze Bridge. And you're going to have to connect it to one of those beams and put that here. Next, you're gonna need one of those Technic bricks and connect two one by two plates, any color, and put that over here. Now you see, you're halfway done with the mechanism. Now you're gonna need that stud shooter piece and slide one of those Technic pieces and you're gonna have to add this last and add two filler round tiles, two round tiles used as filler and put them first. You go and then put the piece you're gonna use and now you're gonna want to connect that here you see the mechanism is done here the main thing now 
I'm going to show you guys how to build the button. Now first you're going to need a 1x8 dark bluish gray. It has to be dark bluish gray. If you don't have dark bluish gray, you could use light bluish gray, uh, medium nougat, just anything that resembles a button, like an oak button, a stone button. And you're going to have to add this headlight brick. I think it's called a headlight brick, I don't know. This one, it's a one by one. You have to put this or else your mechanism will not work. Then you're gonna have to add a one by one tile, a one by eight tile, a one by two plate, and two one by eight plates. These you, you're gonna have to follow the colors except for that one by one tile here and there you go you're done with the button here moving on to this this is just some armor just for you not to play with the mechanism so it's just just Take any color you have that you do not use and just make this little thing here. Then you're gonna have to connect it here. It's very important because it also keeps the button in place. It keeps it from moving up and down. Now let's move on to the outside section because we're done with the mechanism. And just like that, you're done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed building this with me. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe.